would you do if your son is at home crying on the lawn on the bedroom floor because he's hungry and the only way to feed him is to sleep with a man for a little bit of money and his daddy's gone so we're smoking rock now in and out of lockdown i ain't got a job now for you this is just a good time but for me this is what i call life remember that song guys right city high let me tell you, let me tell you, we are not here to judge anybody because you never know what anybody is going through, man. We all go into our struggles, so what can we do? We can just be more loving, more supportive, more encouraging of each other, man, guys. Not being so hard on each other, you know? And that's the message from Carrie that I pick up, that we're just here to be God's loving representative, to love him and to love others. And for this God who goes overboard to reveal glimmers of his presence in me, I say, God, how can I show up for you, to glorify you and to honor you? Yesterday, every day I'm driving home, I'm listening to Carrie's message, and he would say, just be the example for others. And today, praying under the tree, can you believe that's what the hubba prayed for? Say, God, let us be an example to others. And let's just keep going, guys, spreading this message of God, that he's with us, that we're never alone for one second. The way he shows up for me, man, like <laughs> this day, I run into the tree, and I just felt him in my spirit saying this. He listened to this specific message from Carrie. And it was just about a message where Carrie prayed for strength, guys. So God just, I just felt him so strongly. Listen to this message. Listen to this. I said, okay, God, who am I to argue with you? So I listened to this message going to the tree of Carrie praying for strength. Get to the tree. Sat down by the bench by the tree. Say, God, what do you have to say to me? And I just felt him saying, go to specific page 17. Go to page 17. Can you believe there was a pastor? I wrote about who said that we should pray for strength. Okay, guys, so this life not easy, but once we know we have God's strength with us every moment, every second, we can take on all the hard things that he's asked us to do, okay? So that was no coincidence that God said, listen to this specific message, Nick. Listen, 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 because Gary said, look, I don't pray for strength for me. I pray for strength. To keep the roof from falling on, on, on in on all the people who are counting on me. You guys get that? So it's not the strength that we're praying for for ourselves. It's just so we can show up as you supportive people to all the people that are counting on us. And that message of strength was tattooed on a customer yesterday. Can you imagine? Tattooed strength. Okay, so we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. God is our strength. When we're weak, let's just learn to lean on him every second, every moment. Tap into God's strength and his softness, guys, his love, his gentleness, his faithfulness, his kindness to us. And let's just see if we could be about an act and more of that into the world. Okay? I'm going so hard on ourselves or anybody else. And let's just learn to enjoy life, make life happy and joyful for people around us. Okay? Life is hard, guys, so we don't need to make it harder on other people. Okay? Let's just show up. God's peace all the way, doing everything for his honor, his glory. Being the example, like a couple of what we're praying for. I said, hubby, I was listening to Daniel Washington today. He's talked about his wife for 40 years. I said, can you stay with me for 40 years, honey? He said, Nick, I can stay with you for 100 years. I will stay with you too, my boo-boo. Love you, love you, love you. You're ride or die chick forever. Peace.